Let's go to our reporter, Laura Westbrook. She joins us live from Hong Kong. So, Laura, we're still waiting for that verdict, but this is just the latest, isn't it, in a series of cases aiming at crushing press freedom in Hong Kong? Yes, we've been waiting uh, for about an hour for the judge to hand down the verdict in this landmark sedition trial. It centers around the now closed online outlet Stan News and its two editors, Chung Pui Kun and Patrick Lam, who were charged with conspiracy to publish and produce seditious, seditious uh, publications. Now, this trial has been ongoing for some two years. It's the first uh, sedition trial against Hong Kong journalists since the city was handed back to China in 1997 and the prosecution they uh, cite some 17 news articles and commentaries as proof that stand news uh, instigated contempt and hatred against the government they uh, uh, they include interviews with some now jailed and self-exiled pro-democracy uh, activists and they allege that stand news was a political platform but uh, Cheng Pui Kun, who took to the stand and testified, defended his decisions to publish these articles, which he said were in the public interest, and that the platform was a platform for free speech. Now, this trial is very much being seen as a litmus test for press freedom in the city. I've been here for a few hours and we've seen cons uh, uh, diplomats from foreign consulates file in to watch and witness this verdict. Now, uh, uh, the, this uh, trial as, as, and the reason why it's so important is, you know, uh, since the uh, 2019 anti-government protests, Beijing imposed a national security law on Hong Kong. And since then, we've seen other uh, news outlets like Apple Daily, as well as several others close down with the founder of Apple Daily also on trial under the national security law. The government says that uh, the national security law brought back stability to the city, but critics have said that it's been used to crush dissent and the opposition here in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, Laura, uh, just as you were talking, uh, I'm just looking in the news wires and it seems we do have a verdict. Hong the Hong Kong court, I'll just read it out, find stand news editors guilty of sedition in first such conviction against any journalist since 1997. So this is mostly in line with what people were expecting, right? Yes, uh, so these two uh, uh, journalists, as well as uh, the parent company of Stan News, they uh, face up to two years um, in prison, as uh, that's the maximum sentence for sedition. Um, and uh, this sedition uh, law is actually a colonial era law that was used um, under the British rule. And it's been, was, hasn't been used in decades, but it was brought back following, in 2020, following the Beijing imposed national security law and has been used uh, uh, for dozens of uh, people who've been convicted under this law. So the uh, defendants will have an opportunity to appeal this verdict and um, we will wait to see how this, what happens. But for critics, uh, this is very much a, 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 a another worrying sign for people who work as uh, journalists in the city as well as uh, international news, news organizations of what this can now mean for what people can say and report on. People will be looking at this verdict as another worrying sign that the freedoms that the city in Hong Kong enjoyed uh, have been slowly diminishing. Laura, many thanks for that. Laura Westbrook there for us in Hong Kong. And just to recap that breaking news coming out 